Hello Fiends and Collectors, this is me, Daniel East 1000, back again with a little haul video. I was hoping to have a few more bits arrive, but unfortunately due to the current situation and a container ship slightly adrift in the Suez Canal, or due to Hasbro's complete incompetence, which is more than likely, they haven't arrived just yet. I've had quite a few things on pre-order, a fair amount of them seem to be coming this month, or at least now in the coming weeks, which I'm happy about. My wallet and bank account, not so much. I've got one big thing to share with you, and as we unbox this honky chonky thing, spit some bars to you about some of the recent things that have been going on in the figgy collecting world, mainly Oh, last night. Last night some, pre well, not pre-orders yet. I don't know what the sitch is with them. They're Target exclusives. There's four figures coming. <sighs> Hasbro, calm down. But it is the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm, so it is kind of expected. But they're doing four figures from the Clone Wars, and they're in the sort of original Clone Wars style packaging, of which I'm completely all over, because I remember them boxes being out on shelves back in the day. Around at the time when Woolworths was closing, so a lot of those figures were going on discount. So yeah, we're getting some Black Series figures in that style of packaging, which I think is awesome. Some really cool figures for sure. We're getting Anakin, Obi-Wan, Echo in his Art Trooper gear, which is I think most people have been wanting a Echo or a Fives in Black Series for the longest time now. And they're also doing Clone Trooper Hawk, which is interesting, to say the least. Don't think it would be most people's first pick to have a figure in that style card, but I guess it's an easy sculpt for them to do in terms of having a clone body. Speaking of which, that clone body looks like original Clone Trooper sculpt. Hasbro seems to be really weird at the minute with using and interchanging between those two sculpts for clone troopers. But nonetheless, interesting choice. Not entirely sure why they went for him, but that entire wave I, I do be wanting. Although I'm not really digging the fact that they're making them target exclusives because it's gonna be a dog pile to get them. And I'm just hoping online retailers are gonna get them and it won't be exclusive, at least in terms of the UK, to Hasbro Pulse. I'm really trying to avoid that site at all physical possible costs. That's just me, they look absolutely awesome. Not sure when they go up for pre-order, but I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to jump on at least Echo, if not the entire wave. But I, I don't wanna do that just yet, given the amount of pre-orders I've got currently. Anakin and Obi-Wan, technically Echo, kind of. Tick some predictions off my bingo card. If you haven't seen my prediction video, it's up there somewhere. Yeah, really looking forward to those. And <laughs> to stop suspense, because I have now cut into this. This box is massive, um, which is understandable given the contents that's inside of it. Um, it's not a figure, surprisingly, but it is a Black Series item, because I love my Black... <laughs> this is the first time I've ever bought something like this. I have indeed got the Mandalorian helmet. Oh god, that box. That is a chongus, chonky box. And very, very high quality as well. Oh boy, that is pretty damn good. I am 10 out of 10 putting this thing on my head and doing a video on it, that's for sure. Because um, I do need to get some videos cranked out for the channel because there is a bit of a drought at the moment. In terms of figgies, um, I'm just waiting on all the pre-orders to come out. But this is one of them and it's big and it's awesome and I'm so excited to put this thing on my head for the first time in my collection. I need to get something to display it on though, maybe get a plaque because that's a thing you can get as well. Third party, of course. Wouldn't have killed you to include that as well, Hasbro, but I'll, get, I'll let you off. I'll let you off for now, until we actually review this thing. So, yeah, that's a little tease for you as to what I'm reviewing next. And uh, quite heavy, actually, as well. I'm really surprised about that. So, that's my first bucket. Really surprised I've been a Star Wars fan for that long, and this is my first Star Wars helmet. Feels like it should have happened sooner. Hey, I'm pleased it's the Mandalorian. So, that's my... 
for a very small haul. Just like I said, waiting on other things to come when they come. I can wait, I'm a patient boy. This thing, this thing's gonna keep me amused, that's for sure. So yeah, review shall be coming on of this at some point. I've got another video I'm working on, which is taking some time here and there. Jump, joy of miniature painting video episode two. Um, I'm not going to give any spoilers as well, it's on, but it's, it's so far, so far, with the very small bit that I've done, it's, it's looking good. I'm pretty pleased with it, I'm pretty pleased with what I've done with it so far. So, fingers crossed, you enjoy it when it does eventually go live, hopefully, next month. So, that's me, that's me for now, um, if you haven't seen the first episode of uh, that, it's on my channel somewhere. Yeah, so I'm going to get to reviewing this. Um, and working on that as well and I'll see you guys soon and thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and this is me Daniel Eastman Fairson signing out